The coral reef is often described as a city, bustling, crowded and noisy with life. But among its alleys lies a facility more advanced than anything humans could build. It is not marked by walls or laboratories, but by burrows dug into sand, rubble and coral heads. From these entrances emerge one of the ocean's most improbable engineers, the mantis shrimp. At first glance, its body does not betray the marvel it carries. It is no larger than a human hand, armoured in bright colours that gleam like lacquered ceramics, antennae twitching as it surveys its surroundings. But beneath that dazzling shell, evolution has perfected technologies that human science is only beginning to understand. The mantis shrimp is not just a predator. It is a weapons lab, living proof that nature's arms race can produce designs that stretch the limits of physics itself. Its primary invention is a spring-loaded hammer, a raptorial appendage so powerful it can shatter shells, split aquarium glass, and deliver one of the fastest strikes known in the animal kingdom. This limb, hinged at the base of the head, operates on a principle of stored energy. Like an archer pulling back a bowstring, the mantis shrimp cocks the limb into position, locking it with a saddle-shaped structure that holds tension. Muscles contract slowly, loading energy into elastic tissue. Then, at release, the stored force explodes forward, accelerating the club to speeds exceeding 20 meters per second. The strike is so fast that water cannot flow out of the way in time. Pressure drops sharply, creating cavitation bubbles that collapse with flashes of heat and sound. Prey struck by the hammer is hit twice, once by the physical impact and once by the shockwave of collapsing bubbles. It is not merely a punch. It is an impact event, combining mechanics and fluid dynamics in a single blow. The results are catastrophic for prey. Snails, crabs and mollusks that evolved heavy shells as defense find themselves cracked open in milliseconds. Clams that rely on impenetrable armor to deter fish predators offer no protection here. Even glass walls of aquariums have occasionally been shattered by captive mantis shrimp, a reminder that their weapon is not just adapted for food, it is over-engineered, powerful enough to challenge human infrastructure. This is why biologists call them spearers and smashers, two functional morphs of mantis shrimp. Some evolved spiny appendages to stab soft-bodied prey, while others developed clubs for blunt force trauma. Both designs represent extreme solutions, perfected by millions of years of selective pressure in reefs where survival is measured in fractions of a second. Yet the weapon is only half of the laboratory. The mantis shrimp's eyes are equally astonishing and perhaps even harder to comprehend. Perched on stalks, they move independently, scanning the reef in a way that seems restless, even manic. Each eye is a complete autonomous sensor divided into specialized regions that detect color, shape, and polarization. Unlike human eyes, which use three types of photoreceptors, mantis shrimp eyes may employ up to 16. They perceive not just the visible spectrum, but ultraviolet and polarized light, giving them access to a channel of information that is invisible to most creatures. Polarization vision, in particular, is a private communication system. Light waves vibrate in orientations, and the mantis shrimp can detect these orientations with remarkable precision. Many species use polarization patterns to signal each other, flashes across their shells that function like coded messages, invisible to predators and prey. This creates a communication network hidden in plain sight, a language written in polarized light. For mantis shrimp, this is both encryption and stealth. They can coordinate caught or threaten without revealing themselves to animals that cannot decode the signal. It is the reef's equivalent of a secure channel, a spy vision system layered atop ordinary sight. The eyes themselves move in constant darting motions, sweeping through space with scanning saccades that build detailed multi-dimensional maps of the environment. Each eye perceives depth on its own, allowing stereoscopic vision from a single organ, this redundancy grants extraordinary precision. When the mantis shrimp strikes, it does so with uncanny accuracy, targeting weak points in shells or joints with surgical consistency. To strike at such speed requires not only power, but also guidance, and the mantis shrimp's visual system provides it. In essence, 
The animal is both weapon and targeting computer, a predator whose body contains both offense and navigation. The ecological role of this weapons lab is profound. By breaking apart armored prey, mantis shrimp recycle calcium carbonate back into the reef system, influencing the distribution of invertebrates and reshaping microhabitats. Empty shells cracked by mantis shrimp become homes for hermit crabs or small fish. Their predation pressure prevents any single group of shelled animals from dominating, maintaining diversity in reef communities. In this sense, their violence is constructive. Every shattered snail or crab shell feeds the architecture of the reef, making the mantis shrimp not only a destroyer, but also a participant in reef engineering. Behaviorally, mantis shrimp exhibit an intelligence that mirrors the complexity of their tools. They are territorial, guarding burrows with vigilance, often engaging in ritualized combat to avoid lethal encounters with rivals. Displays of color, posture, and controlled strikes communicate dominance without necessarily inflicting mortal wounds. In some cases, they spar with measured restraint, exchanging blows to assess strength rather than to kill. This behavioral sophistication reveals a predator not ruled solely by reflex, but by choices calibrated to risk and reward. Physiologically, their design is remarkable for its efficiency. The energy stored in their strike is recycled through elastic structures, minimizing muscular fatigue. Their eyes, though incredibly complex, are powered by a nervous system streamlined for speed rather than for heavy computation. Instead of building massive brains to interpret visual data, Mantis shrimp outsource much of the processing to the eyes themselves. Each organ pre-processes information before relaying it to the brain, reducing neural load. It is an elegant solution. Distribute computation across sensors, just as they distribute force across specialized weaponry. Their life cycle adds another dimension. Mantis shrimp larvae drift in the plankton, developing into fierce predators only after months adrift in the open ocean. This stage exposes them to predators and currents, yet it also ensures wide dispersal. Populations can colonize new reefs far from their origin, carrying their weaponized genetics into fresh ecosystems. Once settled, juveniles carve burrows into sand or rubble, beginning the cycle of predation anew. Their longevity, some species live for over 20 years, is unusual among crustaceans and allows for repeated refinement of hunting territories and strategies across decades. For humans, mantis shrimp represent both challenge and inspiration. Their strike mechanics are studied by engineers developing impact-resistant materials inspired by the layered microstructure of the clubs that prevents self-damage during strikes. Their vision informs research into new optical technologies, including improved cancer detection methods that mimic their polarization sensitivity. In laboratories, mantis shrimp are not just curiosities, but models for innovation, offering blueprints drawn from millions of years of evolution at the reef's cutting edge. Yet they remain difficult to keep, both in aquaria and in imagination. Their strikes can break glass tanks, and their solitary aggressive nature defies easy display. To encounter one in the wild is to glimpse a creature that seems to belong less to biology than to physics, a living experiment in the extremes of force and perception. It is small enough to be overlooked, yet powerful enough to reshape the micro-architecture of the reef, equipped with sensors that decode a spectrum invisible to nearly all other life. To watch a mantis shrimp emerge from its burrow is to feel tension. Its eyes sweep, its antennae flick, and then, with no warning, it strikes. A crab is shattered, a snail shell split, the prey consumed in seconds. Around the burrow lie fragments, evidence of repeated experiments in force. To us, it may seem violent. To the reef, it is maintenance, a predator ensuring diversity by culling the armored. To evolution, it is triumph, a small creature that turned its body into a laboratory where physics, vision and strategy converge. In the end, the mantis shrimp is not just another crustacean hiding in coral rubble. It is a demonstration of what happens when evolution pushes mechanics and perception to their limits. A spring-loaded hammer that delivers double strikes through impact and cavitation. An eye that runs a private polarization channel, decoding signals invisible to rivals. A predator whose life is less about chase and more about precision, less about raw size and more about exploiting the edges of physics. 
It is the reef's weapons lab, a living arsenal of ideas, some destructive, some constructive, all extraordinary. 